lot wetter over here than what I thought it'd be. I'm gonna go over here. Matter of fact, you see where I turn the tractor around. Over there, how much it mucked that up. <clears throat> so what I did was I pulled that, went ahead and just pulled that blade off. Cleaned the, it had a bunch of uh, grass and stuff that hung up around it. And I um, uh, got it back on there about to use the impact on it. I'm about to put some blades on it. I'll get some this next week. Well, I've actually got an extra set of tiles, matter of fact. I think about it now. So I've got the uh, one inch impact here. I'm going to come up here and see. I've got the bush hog wheel sitting on the trailer. So it won't go nowhere, y'all. Let me get up here. I'm going to go ahead and get two blade bolts for this thing this next week too go ahead and get them that should get it it's an inch and three quarter I couldn't remember what size it was I brought a a box of uh, sockets just to be sure I had the right one with me when I came over here. Yeah, it pulled it down. Yeah, it went slap through. That thing still had never sees on the threads too. These uh these bush hogs are tough, man. What you talking about? Them things. These things are tough, man. All right, so I'm ready to uh rock and roll, man. And go figure, it had been overcast like this till I got over here about 10 minutes ago and the sun blistered out. I hope it'll stay overcast because, man, if it don't, it's fixing to be murderous here with the humidity. Crank this thing up and let it finish warming up while I'm putting my tools up. I'm going to grease the tractor in the bush hog boat. <laughs> So what's funny is it sounds like a battery's weak on that thing. That battery is actually five years old, well, five and a half years old now. Still the same battery that came on the tractor. And it has always cranked like that. I figured I'd have to replace that thing in about two years. They're like, nah, this is one of those deals where I'm just gonna you leave that battery in there until it just won't crank the tractor no more. And I'm gonna see just how long that do to go, man. And we'll see. One thing about it, there won't be any dust today. That's exactly what's fixing to happen. Is in a little bit. It's so humid right now. I mean, it is way, way high. It'll be pouring down rain here later on this afternoon or tonight. One of the two, we'll start having these storms pop up all over the place. So I got her greased up and got that done. So let's go uh, put some grass. So since back in the, I guess, early 80s, all I've ever run or been affiliated with is bush hog branded bush hogs. They're built right down there in Selma, Alabama. It's where they're built and they're tough, extremely tough. This one right here is a 297. It's seven foot wide. I bought this thing new, I believe it was 2009 whenever I bought it, and I pulled it with a 100 horsepower uh, case cabin air tractor that I had for, uh, gosh, I bought that tractor in 04 new and kept it up to about 2013 or so and sold it. And you watch this video and you'll see the stuff that I go through. It'd be tough running a cab tractor down through uh, some of this stuff, which is good. Cab tractor would be nice, you know, I've had one been there done that you know it just the bush hog just holds up and what you see me put it in today is uh what i do what i've done with it the entire time that i've had it i i don't hold back i just take it and ease around i have no dents or dings in my tractor nowhere or anything like that and you'll see here in a minute <laughs> and i just i put it in low gear and just kind of just creep along and see where i can get to and where all i can go and uh, i enjoy just getting out and doing it
And as I said at the start of this video, uh, the weather got bad. I was watching it. I was getting alerts on my phone, you know, lightning and stuff like that. And I was watching radar. And I worked my way back to the truck by the time I knew it was going to hit. And it was kind of starting to drizzle on me there. And I just got back to the truck. I knew it wasn't probably going to rain very long. And it did. It probably rained uh, a little better than 30 minutes, but it dumped some water while it in those 30 minutes completely saturated everything again and i just sat there and hung out till it till it quit in the truck and then i hopped back on the tractor i was able to get the this entire place completely bush hogged and finished and got the tractor back on and now i've got um uh, i've got a couple other places i gotta go bush hog i worked on one yesterday clearing the roads on it i was on the ranger and with chainsaws and working all them out, all the uh, deadfall stuff and trees that blow down back during the spring. So I got all that done. I'll probably bush hog that place. I may end up on it today or sometime this week and get it bush hog. So I enjoy the bush hog videos. A lot of people do. It's instant uh, gratification. You can, with the flip of a light switch, basically, you can turn it into this, into something clean that's behind the tractor right there. Love doing that. Uh, so... I'm going to let y'all go. Enjoy the video. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.
that's what I just came down through. It's actually like that the whole way. I just didn't think about turning the camera on. It's actually opening back up down here a little bit. So the reason why I did that is, is because I've got a certain spot up there on top of the hill I want the deer to walk out on, and a deer is just like a human being. They're gonna walk in the path of least resistance. So if you make them a path, they're gonna walk down that path. And that's what I'm doing. I'm making them a path out of this bottom down here to go up that hill to come out where I want them to come out at. I'm gonna hop back on the tractor and I'm gonna try to get turned around and go back up that hill. I'm gonna get turned around. It may take me 75 pull ups and back. Here.
through all this uh, building. We'll put some more right here.